you know, obviously, I am speaking on behalf of several people who want action. They've came to me. They've told me uh, some of these, you know, obviously confided in me with these allegations. And some of them are quite sensitive in nature. Um, but, you know, the last one I was at was, you know, uh, a deputy had pulled me aside and said, Lieutenant, i got to talk to you. And this was shortly again before um, I left in October. He explained how he was sitting in his office. He heard a gunshot, and he thought that, he thought maybe somebody shot the sheriff because the sheriff's office is right down from the detective's office. And so he went down to investigate, and, you know, I, I have the report. Um, so you guys can read it. So he says, I looked in, I saw a surprised look on the secretary's face. I could smell uh, gunpowder. When I walked in further, you know, the sheriff was standing directly in front of her desk, holding a firearm, and it went off. He later interviewed the secretary and said, yeah, he, he, he plays with the gun quite a bit, but this time he didn't realize it was loaded, and he shot a round off, and of course, uh, the accusation is it went unreported. Um, so the detective obviously felt that he needed to tell somebody. And so he trusted me as a command staff member to say, hey, what do I do with this? I mean, I, I witnessed it and, you know, I know it didn't get reported. And, and I, t I directed him to do a report up and, and get, you know, obviously make a copy for yourself and me. And that way, you know, you reported it. 